Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the Berlin map with Svendover from one hour, and he's in the EBR 105. He's running CBS, improved optics, and low nose exhaust. So, pretty standard loadout now for um, light vehicles. Okay. Now, let's just make the map a little bit bigger. So, okay, he's heading to the middle here to spot as many tank movements as possible. Uh, spotted one of the enemy light tanks there, the Charmel 75. He's top tier as it's a tier 9, tier 10 battle. And there's two light tanks on each battle. Oh, nearly tipped over there. But um, yeah, wheel vehicles have been given a special characteristic so they don't tip over that often compared to track vehicles. Alright. So there's quite a few vehicles spotted. Um, will he get any assisted damage from that though? That's the question. The, you need your tanks to be in place to shoot, of course. And alright, he didn't get any assisted damage there from the uh, Charmail 75 being spotted. But um, Teenage just bounced off as well. So he's fired two shots, both of it. So good shooting accuracy, but um, unable to get any damage out of that. Now, notice how he backed off as soon as he fired. You've got to expect to be spotted when you shoot. Um, and of course, if you don't get spotted, of course, well, then you know that there's no one capable of spotting at that point, so it makes that position a bit more secure. In any case, still no assistive damage and no damage of his own. Seeing so all those vehicles, yeah, they're being spotted by someone else, so, which is a good thing, um, but uh, not able to get any damage. Oh, here we go. First time gets the TVP. Nice shot there. And of course, spotted straight away, but luckily, no one able to shoot back at him, which is good. Uh, and there you go. Good reactions, puts a nice shot on the to 16 and gets the kill. And he's got the side of the teenage there who hasn't noticed him, so I'm sure he'll be able to line him up and put a shot in. And he does indeed. So, two clear shots in then and two shots of damage, so just having the time to line up the shots obviously is valuable. And he thinks might get another shot in on the teenage. But uh, he'd have to go up a little bit here to facilitate that. It doesn't want to be shot by the TPP. But too late, the teenager has been sent back to the garage. Alright, so we're in the first three minutes of the battle. The team is down, but not by a lot. And there you go. Another hit, but no damage. Can be a bit demoralising when that happens, but um, it tends to be what happens when you have to rush your shots. Uh, back to the score, so they're also one tank down, but starting to even things out here. So just coming back to the central positions, looking for opportunities to spot the enemy out, and at this point in time, yeah, it's not being very productive. Alright, so what can we do here? I think there's a few tanks inside the um, the central block here. This is sort of a favoured spot for trying to control a map, but it's a pretty dangerous spot also. So it's being proxy spotted by the tanks inside. Oh, here comes a 268, doesn't want to get in the way of the 268 gun. And it's being rushed by the enemy EBR, at least the enemy EBR has decided to come out. Can he get a shot on him before he's reloaded? No, he just loses the opportunity there, but no, oh, it's come back. He should get a hit in and back gets the kill. So. The enemy's lost both of their light tanks. Now on this map, probably not such a, an issue, but uh, here we go. 268 looks like he's backing away, so not backing away I should say, but this directed by the UDS 1516, and again just trying to keep out of the way of the gun, the 268, but at least the UDS has got his rear, and we'll take him down or take him out in a second. Uh, now he's turned around, puts a nice shot in, so it's starting to accumulate his own damage here. Still not getting any assisted damage. That sometimes it's the fate of a light tank. 
but uh, if you're not getting assisted damage and you can do your own without uh, getting too much fired back at you, then you may as well do that. Acknowledged. All right, now he's pushing in on the location where the TVP was seen. In fact, there's the TVP. Let's take a hit on the way, and unfortunately he can't get a return shot, but that's all right. Now they've got another tank spotted there, so taking full advantage of these ditches that run right through the middle. And he can pop up here and just annoy these tanks, basically, either by proxy spotting him, or it looks like the TBP's run away. Gets a nice shot into the rear of the 704. The 704 being distracted by TBP. Now, where did that other TBP go? Oh, he's run away to the side there, so he puts another shot into the 704. And unfortunately the TVP gets taken out, but he's going to get out of the way of both guns of the 704 and the TVP. And just circle back here to pick up the 704. And gets the kill. So three kills now to Sven. That's put them in a fairly strong position. There's only three, four enemy tanks left. It's just in a few minutes they've lost quite a few. There's the TVP running away, so he's can well, he's been spotted, so can he pick up the TVP? Hopefully not before the TVP decides he's being chased and tries to shoot back. So he's just hiding behind this metal block here and having a lot less enemy tanks in the map makes it a lot easier to basically get a hiding spot. Still no assisted damage from the light tank. This is disgraceful, Sven. <laughs> you can lift your game. No, what can you do? All right, so the TVP now, you just remember it's a three shot auto loader, so knowing when they've run out of shots is important. Uh, but uh, it does reload fairly quickly as well, only being three shot auto later. And it takes that on his wheels, which is lucky, and he should get the kill here. No! He gets tipped over, and um, luckily, however, the TVP doesn't do any damage, so he should reload in time. You can see the TVP hiding himself, being an auto loader. So he should come around and get the kill, I think. Yes, he does. So. Four kills there to Sven. Oh, and he's found a BZ-68. Takes another hit there. Takes him down to one shotable. But uh, he might be able to fire back. No, decides that uh, discretion is the better part of Valor. And bugs out and to change the angles and come from a different direction. And there's the Rhino and there's a Tortoise as well. All right, okay, now he's found the Tortoise. Now he's just trying to line up the uh, commander's hatch here. Pretty tricky shot. Puts a blind shot in. We'll see later if that uh, comes up. But uh, this is the point of the game where light tanks can excel. Now, yes, he doesn't have a lot of hit points. And if you look, his team doesn't have a lot of hit points. 232 left at 10% of the total hit points of the remainder. They both need to stay alive, or as alive as long as possible, but there's still seven minutes to go, this is the thing. So the enemy might think they're actually in a commanding position here, but the one thing they've got on their side with Sven is at the view range. And he puts a nice shot into the Rhino while he's crossing. Yes, he does get spotted there, but he'll go dark again and pop out, try and light them up. Well, they're still lit anyway. Oh, the Rhino is not even paying attention. He'll go now on this shot. Oh no, left on 30 hit points, but that's okay. Still another opportunity to get the kill there. And he drives away, leaving a hard object between him and the tortoise, which is clever. He's still spotted, of course, um, for 10 seconds. So now he's just coming up here. There's a bush in front of him. He's, well, I think he's waiting for the rhino to cross and perhaps take up another position. All right, the rhino's behind hard cover. Can he catch someone else crossing? Yes, there's the BZ. Oh, he hasn't reloaded in time, but he might get the tortoise instead. Uh, the tortoise is turning, he's quite clever. The tortoise knows he's lit, so he's just angling here. And can he line up the commander's hatch? He's just moving just a bit too much. Now yeah, might get a shot now. No, unfortunately that didn't hit the right spot. And of course he's lit again. But uh, luckily his uh, teammate in the STB1 is picking up damage as well at the same time, although doing zone spotting, so <laughs> still no assisted damage. And this is coming up here with an HE shell trying to take out that um, Rhino, or in fact, even the BZ is on 10 hit points here, so an HE shell should do damage. He's just not getting any outline there. There's the Rhino, it's the same position. 
this position not giving him enough angle on where the rhino is or the rhino knows he's spotted of course and he's just not showing enough and the tortoise has gone behind the blockhouse as well so time to use your mobility but there's still just under five minutes to go and there's this db1 oh it's finally picked up <laughs> his first bit of assist with damage over the game but uh, he can zoom around the map here at full speed 80 kilometers an hour or 90 actually and uh, get an angle on these tanks here so he's coming up trying to avoid the cap circle to, that will tip them that is coming just finds his way past and he just wants to line up doesn't matter which one of them he wants to put some damage in and keep them lit a uh, little bush off to his left yes he's trying to get into that spot and he's made it without being spotted but now they're all in positions where they can't be shot at oh there's the bz just the top of the roof and he's just trying to line him up he's got that he shell loaded just wants him to come back into a spot. Now this is clever tactics here. You put your cursor on a spot where you know he's going to move into and keep your aim there and that means your dispersal dispersion I should say of your shot won't change because you don't have to move your gun. He backs into that position you shoot him when he's in the right position. Anyway that worked out well. He got the kill so that's five kills now to Sven. Still two enemy left the Rhino on a very small amount of hit points and the Tortoise with a bit, quite a bit more that's also some damage to get out of that and he is now on his own so there's the Tortoise, he'll go for the Rhino first and he does and gets the kill and of course yes, spotted again but range is here quite slow, quite small so again backs away in a straight line so that won't give the tortoise much information about which direction he's going to go and he'll go unspotted again which he is and now he's just got this tortoise to sacrifice so maybe he forgot he still had <laughs> he shells loaded because he only did a small amount of damage but that's all right he's got plenty of time two and a half minutes or more and he'll get the penetration with his um, heat rounds here but he, again he does want to face off with the Rhino because he's a one shot definitely and if the Rhino is smart he'll have a thought that he's coming around from distant side Rhino is desperately trying to cap and he could cap but it, you know if the um, if he's in a safe position so here he comes side of the Rhino bang puts a shot in gets spotted of course the Rhino should be turning oh sorry that tortoise or a Rhino all these animal names but um, needs to go dark and he is now so which direction can he go that will fool the rhino so one thing of course you can do is just take a run up and get moving fast to cover a gap that you might have to drive through which looks like that's what he's doing yep a bit hard to tell if the rhino are uh, the tortoise what am i saying the tortoise took a shot there didn't hear anything or see any splash but uh, this is all up to Sven now they're both on low hit points both are one shotable to each other so it looks like he's doing the fall back here where he's made him think he's going a particular direction and he's taking a wide arc here this is a long way to go to, <laughs> to get around but hopefully this will fool the tortoise it's going even further oh he's just got a shot yep he's got another side shot here this should be the kill there's not much of him behind the target there and he gets the kill that is the end of the game that is seven kills there to spend over so what a great result and we've got the full results again so we should be back to normal now for end plates so let's have a look at the details so 5.2k of damage another 693 of assisted damage there so that's uh, pretty close to 6k uh, but uh, I think main thing yeah to do most of his damage uh, seven kills that's given him the top gun and he's got the confederate ward for damaging so many vehicles that were then killed by his team 
and of course the ace tanker mastery badge so let's have a look at the team scores all right well he's finished well on top there with 1330 base uh, which is excellent for tier 10 and stp1 coming out really well with doing over 5k himself so congratulations to kosa kazoni that's how you pronounce his name and also the amx m4 doing 3.3k coming in very close in terms of xp as well so the top three players there doing a fair bit of damage and tvp also doing close to 3k so his team doing pretty well but obviously they lost a few tanks at the start uh, doing no damage which didn't help and the enemy team the bz68 coming out with just under 5k and the rhino doing 4.4 both doing excellent work and the tortoise picking up some extra xp there but um, not otherwise doing a great deal but uh, nonetheless the turnaround there very much down to the stp1 and sven in the ebr all right so what did it cost him to run that game tier 10 standard tech tree vehicle so he had to have some personal reserves running he had some battle payments from the clan running which helped uh, but he basically used a lot of ammunition firing 26 shots 22 of those hit and 16 penetrations and he also had to resupply his consumables which is a bit probably put him behind there so in the net loss of 17k that's not too bad for this type of game all right now Sven I can guarantee you who's feeling pretty nervous at the end there being one shotable and just trying to line up that Rhino and not being taken uh, out of the game could have easily been a loss so well played there Sven I hope you like the content uh, if you do and this is to everyone watching if you've got something out of this if it's enjoyment if you've learned something yeah please give the video a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing that. We'll have more great content to follow. Thanks very much for watching.